welcome back to my channel you guys i'm natasha if you're new here and if you are new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now so that you you know can join the family join the team whatever you want to call it join my little community here where we talk about locks makeup and anything else that comes to my mind also make sure you hit that notification bell so that you know exactly when i post a new upload because i have them ready to roll out for you guys so in this video today i'm going to be showing you how i wash my hair i will put the products in the description box in this video i'm clarifying my hair and i use the dr bronner's soap bar in the peppermint scent and i also use the raw sugar shampoo and conditioner um, i like to use conditioner in the colder months because i need to make sure that my hair is not super dry because it will get super dry my hair has even when it was natural loose natural it never held on to moisture properly, I will have to moisturize my hair often. So it's the same when I have locks. With that being said, I don't like to use a lot of products in my locks or with my locks because it just traps everything in there and I don't want to get a lot of buildup. So the main products that I use is shampoo and conditioner and oil. I don't really put anything else in my hair as far as moisturizing. When I'm not washing my hair and I just want to moisturize, I will use a spray bottle with water, spritz my hair to get it damp, not soaking wet, just damp and then i will moisturize with these oils that i'm going to show you in this video but before we get into moisturizing let me go ahead and show you how i wash my hair I see the way you move, dancing dirty Diana. You say don't get comfortable, I'm too hot to handle. Many promises, but no guarantees. Just say to believe all that I can be. I see the way you move, rhythm talks and you listen Coconut spelling the way you get down to business yeah. Said I'm drawn to you and just can't get enough Question mark a mystery, then one thing come on Caught me at first sight I know that I could be the one to change your life Worse for better, part of me where are my manners Pleasure to meet you, can't help but admire Find the fine words here, you got me stuttering But by the look on your face, I can see that you're loving it Is it real or facade? Can I tell what you got on? Oh, what's good, yeah, what's up? What's the deal like for one, for one? Need some room for progression Keep it simple like for one I see the way you move this and dirty Diana you say don't get comfortable, I'm too hot to handle Many promises but no guarantees Just say to believe all that I can be I see the way you move this and dirty Diana You say don't get comfortable, I'm too hot to handle Many promises but no guarantees Just say to believe all that I can be
<laughs> so now that I've washed my hair, it's all freshly washed. As you guys saw in the video, I'm gonna take it out of this turby tie. And this is what our hair is looking like. So this is my freshly washed hair. Um, as you can see, I still get those little white bulbs. So any little white pieces that you see, I don't know. That's like your shed hair that would typically, when you're like loose natural, it would shed off. But because you have locks, it just tangles up into your locks. And it makes you like you have little white dots all over your hair. But I don't really care. I'll give you a quick length check as well I never wear my hair in the middle part y'all it just looks weird to me <laughs> so anyway let me show you my length check so that's the side and then here is the back it's growing we're gonna go ahead and start moisturizing. So the main oil that I use is this here. I have jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, and Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla, just because I like the scent and I wanted something to like make my hair smell good. Um, and then, <laughs> y'all, look what I did. <laughs> I grabbed my husband's beard oil, but my Jamaican black castor oil also comes in a bottle like this. Let me just go ahead and grab that because yeah, we're not putting beard oil in our hair. <laughs> okay. So the Jamaican black castor oil. And I get all of these oils from the beauty supply store. Um, I guess you could order them on Amazon too, but my beauty supply store has like a whole range of oils to choose from. So let's go ahead and start moisturizing our locks so i just pour oil on the parts and then rub it in so that's the gist i'm just going to do it because i don't have time <laughs> to try to make sure that it's perfect and then also looking in this viewfinder or this screen that i have is putting everything in like reverse so it's kind of hard but anyway you guys can see what I'm doing just section off your hair put some oil moisturize it I mean <laughs> massage it in One of my favorite things to do. It feels so good to show your scalp some extra love. And then I'm gonna pour some into my hand. Rub my hands together and just run it over the shaft of my actual locks.
and make sure you get the ends. My hair dries up so fast, so um, you want to make sure you're doing this oil moisturizing step when your hair is damp and not dry because <laughs> you're not moisturizing your hair that way. Make sure you moisturize the nape of your neck. Again, this is like a massage. So it's like self-care, which is super important. Okay. Now we're gonna go in with some Jamaican black castor oil because y'all already know how I feel about my edges. I don't wanna be bald. They still seem to be intact. I wanna keep it that way. And this has been helping me. Even when I was loose natural, I used this on my edges. I just put a little bit on my fingertips and then massage it in. And another tip to like keep your edges from falling out is don't slip them down or, you know, have your little snatched edges every time you do your hair or any, you know, just don't do your edges often. Like, with um, edge control and stuff and the little edge brush. Now I do use my edge brush um, even when I'm not putting edge control on. I put it all around the nape of my neck too, y'all. Because that's important as well as your edges. But I use it because I want to make sure that the Jamaican black castor oil is getting into my edges. So I'll just brush it in. And another thing that's important is if you're like me and you like to wear makeup, it's important to wash your edges even when you're washing your face because if you leave makeup and stuff in your hair, it'll break out your hairline. As you can see, I have a little pimple right here, but that's also from me not wearing a scarf when I went to sleep and I had oil on my hair. So that's another tip. Make sure you wear scarves, keep your hair out of your face as much as possible, especially when you just finished doing your moisturizing um, routine because it will break you out if you don't. But you know, everybody has pimples, it's not a big deal, but just a little tip for your skincare. And after you finish putting all these oils on your hair, you wanna go wash your face, even though I washed my face prior to doing this, but I am gonna wash it again just so that I'm not just leaving oil sitting on my face because I already have oily skin. So now I'm just moisturizing my locks, or not moisturizing, I'm just massaging my locks. Giving them some TLC. And also making sure that the oil is running all the way down to the ends of my hair. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Same routine that I do when I'm just moisturizing my hair on a regular day without having washed it. Like I said, I just use a spray bottle and mist my hair till it's damp. And then do the same routine with the oils. And as you can see, my hair still gets fuzzy, but I just don't care because I mean, that's what happens when you have locks. They're gonna get fuzzy every now and then 
just is what it is. And I typically wear my hair like this to the side. Um, you see how some of my locks are like really light brown. I have not dyed my hair. My hair just naturally has like highlights in it and I just leave it that way. This is my natural hair color. I'm not going to dye my hair anytime soon. I don't think, I don't really want to. I, I just like the, the way my natural hair color looks. So I think I'm just gonna keep it this way for a while. Maybe in the future, I might change my mind and decide that I do wanna dye my hair. But right now, I just like the way it is. And the sun and genetics gives me highlights anyway. So I don't really see the need to dye my hair. And I'm gonna let my hair finish drying down. And then what I like to do is put my scarf on and just let my hair, you know, chill, be clean. As I'm, you know, lounging around, chilling on the couch, whatever. I don't want my hair to be picking up extra lint or anything. So yeah, I'll put my scarf on for the rest of the day once my hair is fully dry. And that is my wash and moisturizing routine guys pretty simple nothing too intricate like i said i like to use the minimum amount of products on my hair um, just enough to do what i need done with my locks now let's get to the fun part of this video Ooh, i'm gonna drop this oil jesus okay that would have been a disaster now let's get into the fun part which is my 3k giveaway i know it's been a long time <laughs> coming but here we are and i'm going to tell you guys how you can enter um to win some lock goodies so basically i'm going to be giving away a lot of lock products basically the products that i typically use on my locks i'm going to be giving to you guys as well so you can you know use some of the products that i use um, since you guys like to see the type of products and things that i do with my locks i feel like you will enjoy these products as well so all you have to do to enter my giveaway is subscribe to my youtube channel click that notification bell follow me on instagram which i will put my instagram name in the description box and lastly comment below and tell me which video of mine made you subscribe to my channel whether it was a lock video or a makeup video just let me know in the comments below because I'm just curious as to which video of mine made you guys decide to, you know, join the family. Um, like I said, I'm very thankful for you guys and I just wanna give back to you all. And in the future, I will be giving some makeup products away too, but right now I wanna do something for my lot girls because that was like my first video that got my channel to like really grow is my installation of these locks. So we're doing a, a lock product giveaway, so yeah. Go ahead and enter it will close um on friday at 12 p.m friday at 12 p.m is closed i'm gonna pick a person randomly using the little youtube random picker thing on the internet i'm also going to record it and post it in sunday's vlog so that's when i will announce the winner it'll be announced in sunday's vlog you'll see the random picker pick a person so you know that i'm not just choosing somebody just because they're my best friend or my sister or something like that you'll see the youtube picker do it um, because I want it to be fair and I want to give everybody a chance to win and who knows I might pick two people because I'm feeling generous. That's all for today's wash routine and I will see you guys in my next video.